you want to be a good barber. People who cut hair, that's what they call them, right, barber? Yeah. You want to be a good one. Even if you have a drive to do it, you are enthusiastic about barbing people's hair, cut people's hair. The first time you start, you got to start looking at, after you've gone to the school, of course, you got your certificate. That doesn't still mean that you are the best in the block or you're very good. You still got to start doing some practical. Like, you want to ask, okay, he did, he did that kind of fade. You ask the guy, hi, boy, how you doing? How did you do that? Makes sense, right? He, you got to learn to become that person that God has made you to be. You are not a child of God, but you haven't learned anything. Somebody will come to tell you, wow, don't go there. Those people, they're using voodoo. When you just go into their house, they take all your glory and you because you are a child you would just believe what they said so if per adventure you have ever gone into the house you will start sitting down maybe that's why I didn't get that contract maybe that's why I went for that job interview and I didn't get it what's that happening the devil holds your mind that's what he wants once he makes you believe that he can oppress you what happens you are gone see but that's what he's talking about. But if you were matured, you would know that the Bible says, I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy star, they comfort me. And he prepares a table before me. Where? In the presence of my enemy. That means if, like, let me enemy be there. I will go into the house, have the strongest voodoo. I will go in, and the voodoo stops working just because I came in. I don't go in and then leave, then they took my glory. That's for baby Christians. I go in and the voodoo stops working because I went there, because I was present. Why? Because you are a light carrier. The Bible says that ye are lights. See? The difference between a baby Christian and the one that knows. But a lot of baby Christians come to you and they think because they've been in church for 40 years that they are the strong Christians because of time. Time only exists on earth. So. If you think you're a strong Christian because of time, then think again because after it, the real life, there's no time. It's eternity. Hallelujah.